Hi, this is Mel from Two Sleepy Heads and today we're going to show you how to create this design of the individual 3D blocks with different colors on Adobe Illustrator. Alright, let's go! Okay, first up, let's do the same thing, create the different colors that you're going to use on top of the artboard. Then we type in the alphabet that we want to use. So for this, I will type in letter by letter because I want to change the, the orientation, the rotation of each letter. So I'll just type in individual letters and change the colors as well. So let's do last call L A S T. So shortcut key to change the colors is to press I on your keyboard and then select the colors after. But let's just change all the letters first before we change the colors. Last call. Alright, you got all the words out. Now we're going to change individual alphabets to different colors. So A, change to blue. S, let's change to red. T, let's change to orange. Maybe yellow. Mm, orange works. Let's go to C, let's change to yellow. A, let's change to green. L, let's change to blue. Okay, mm, let's change to red. Alright, this color looks good. Shift it down. Then we go to effect. Go to 3D, let's use the classic Revolve tool. No, let's use the Extract and Bevel instead. Revolve is to create this cylinder thing, but let's use Extract and Bevel. Okay. We change the depth to maybe 60. And then this orientation works. Okay. Then go to A, do the same thing, Effect, 3D and Materials. And then we go to the classic 3D Extract and Bevel. And now we change the Orientation a little bit, change the rotation. Same thing, change the depth to 60. You want it to be the same for all. You can position however you want. You can use your cursor to shift the sides of the square, the different sides, then you can rotate the different views that you want of the letter, of each letter. So we do it for all of it. So for this, we want to do it for all as we individual letters. We want to create this individuality for each alphabet. So we don't want it to be all the same angle and rotation. That's why we are doing it one by one. It's actually quite easy. Just a few steps. You can get these different angles that you like. And then if you don't want to shift one by one, you can try the position to maybe isometric. You can shift them or you can change the numbers for the angles. We don't want to shift the box manually to see the angle but for this we just want it to be a little different from each of them so we just shift it a little bit not too extreme just a little tilt left and right top and bottom okay that's the last letter all right so that's about it so you can see that all the different alphabets are dancing on their own so if you don't really like how it looks, you can also manually shift it like this, you can rotate it. But of course you can't rotate um, the 3D part, but you can rotate the left and right. So let's align to the center. Okay, now let's zoom in and see. We want to change each side. So, so we go to each alphabet and object, expand appearance. So now it has individual surface on its own. So now let's use the direct selection tool and select the sides. Use eye dropper tool to change the colors. So now I'm changing the size to blue. For A, I'll do the same thing. I'll expand the appearance. Then I'll select the front, change the color, the sides, change the color. So it depends on what colors I want to change it to. So since I have all the colors in all my alphabets, I can just use eye dropper tool to eye drop the different colors to apply to the sides and also the insides as well. So you can zoom in if you can't see properly. Zoom in and use the direct selection tool to select the area and use shortcut key eye to I drop the colors. So do the same for all of it. So for S, you can see that the sides are actually split into different um, parts, right? So we double click into it. You can you'll be able to select the whole thing at once and change the color. So in double click, you use the normal selection tool to select select the whole entire area to change the colors. So for this, you will use direct selection tool because then you'll be selecting one part by one part which is quite tedious so we use the normal selection tool the arrow to select the sides switch the colors all right now let's go to t i'm trying to make sure that each side have a variation of colors so that the entire design will look more colorful 
for one letter, we can have two, no, maybe three colors. Three to four, not four, maybe three colors maximum. Same thing for C. If you use the various selection tool, you'll be parts by parts. So you just double click into the alphabet, select the whole thing, and deselect the front so that you can change the sides. So that's a faster way to change the color. For this again, same thing. A, we've done it before. Same thing. You can use the resolution tool and change the sides, top and inside as well. Change it to different color. All right. So for the last one, we do the same thing. Change it to blue or green, yellow, or orange. Okay. So now you see how it looks like. Pretty cute, jovial design with different colors and each different alphabet. And now you will make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I want to add some elements into it. So let's go to the Eclipse tool. Okay, maybe now we just go to the Star tool and press the up arrow on your keyboard so that you will increase the points to create this shape. And so this sunburst shape is created using the Eclipse tool. Sorry, the Star tool. With the increase points, change the colors. So now it looks like little starburst on the background. Shift it to the back. So that is behind the alphabet. This is how we create this design in Adobe Illustrator. If you really like this colorful design, if you want us to do more colorful 3D text design, let us know and we will create more of such typography. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Do follow us on TikTok and Instagram. You can also visit our website and drop us an email or DM if you need any help with query services. Also, if you want to learn how to better your design skills, do like this video, hit and like the subscribe button. Till next time, bye!